Good afternoon, everybody. Ty Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well, enjoying their Friday. So we've made it to the weekend. It is the middle of the month. And with that, we are going to do our October outlook here. It's crazy to think that we only have a handful of months left before the year 2024 is out. And it has been an eventful one. We actually started out the year with a very strong El Nino. And now we are going to the opposite end of the spectrum here. And we would expect it to occur this upcoming month, actually, in October. This purple line here represents what we can anticipate here. And if you look over towards October, November, December, or OND on the screen here, you can see that we're right under that 0.5 degrees Celsius threshold, which is where the La Nina phase has begun. We've been spending the last few months here in the neutral Enzo phase. And why that's significant is because this usually affects our weather pretty significantly, especially within the fall and the winter months. Stuff like severe weather comes into play more. Also, winter storms can be a factor. The track of those winter storms, based off the usual trends that we get, based off of the La Nina phase, is also pretty interesting. We'll talk about that briefly in detail here, but we're mainly, of course, going to be focusing on this month here. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button, subscribe button for more. So... Without further ado, let's start out with the temperature outlook here. As you can see, we have a lot of warming expected out towards the west here, especially over the next couple of weeks. I do expect to see some really high temperatures over here, maybe even some records being broken. We'll get into exactly what those values will be momentarily. But also over here towards the northeast, we're going to be well above average. It's going to be in large part due to the oscillations that we'll be talking about in just a moment here. Also, another area to watch for increased temperatures here, above average temperatures will be Florida, especially over towards the peninsula here. An interesting thing, though, about this month, because there is a wild card, it's the tropics, is going to be the precipitation outlook here, especially over towards the southeast and the Gulf Coast states. There actually is an area of interest that we are watching right now that could form our next named storm here, which would be Helene. If this ends up being the case, then this will definitely verify here, Depend especially uh, depending on how quickly this moves. There's still a lot of questions in regards to that feature here. We'll go ahead and actually take a look at that area in just a moment here, if I can get this to work. So here is our area of interest right here. This is on the week two and three global tropic hazards outlook. Also, another area to make note of, of course, main development region, there's an increased chance of development, even in the week three time frame. So we're going to be extra watchful of this area, but for the most part, I'm not too concerned about these areas. The wind pattern is set to where most of these storms will end up turning out to sea and not really being much of a threat to land. But if you notice over towards the Caribbean over the next two to three week time frame here, notice the six degree west line. If you look past this line that I'm looking at right here, all you see at this point is land. It's the only place left for it to go. And right over here, we have a 60% chance of tropical development possible here. So again, over towards the Gulf Coast states, we've been dropping videos and shorts on this for a while. Definitely need to be on watch over the course of the next couple of weeks here. Hopefully nothing forms, but if it does, we'll be one of the first to let you know here. Also, we still have to watch over towards the Pacific, especially over towards Western Mexico where we could get a little bit extra development too. This could come into play in regards to some moisture over towards the southwest here, which is kind of what we're hoping for. Drought has been an issue along with wildfires, and we're hoping that we can get a little bit of a turnaround here. But based off of the precipitation forecast, unfortunately, as it stands right now, we're definitely behind the eight ball here still as we get into October. We're hoping we can get a couple of storm systems through here to change that because the thing to remember about these outlooks is this is not showing what every day is going to be like this is not a representation of that whatsoever but this just this is just based off of the mean of days where we could end up seeing either above or below average precipitation same thing goes with the temperature outlook so a big reason why there's so much confidence in our outcomes here is going to be due to these oscillations here which you can see with these pressure variants as you can see, we have two that we watch. There's one over here, and it's called the Arctic Oscillation, or the AO, and then the NAO, which is over towards Greenland. 
you, if you notice, both of these have this red and pink area. These are areas of higher pressure. So this is what you would call positive phase. During a positive phase, uh, a lot of the cold air usually will end up staying trapped up further to the north or kind of out to sea, depending on which oscillation you're looking at here. But one thing I want you to pay attention to as time goes on, start to see some cold air begin to sneak in here. And we start to see a little bit of a change here. We're kind of neutral, maybe even starting to sneak into a negative AO phase with a positive NAO phase. So Northeast will usually stay pretty warm with the uh, positive NAO phase. But the negative phase will start to allow some cold air to come in. Eventually, we end up shifting into a negative AO and NAO as time goes on, which usually will favor some cooling for the Northeast here. Out towards the north, northern and uh, western states here, we're going to expect some warmer temperatures. That's why that um, confidence was so high in that temperature outlook here. And then we continue to see opportunities for more cold air to sneak in as time goes on. And one, in, one instance in particular towards the end of the month really kind of catches my eye here. So maybe some signs of stratospheric heating. And this is going to be potentially more prevalent as we get later into the year, especially as we get towards the start of winter. This kind of trend holds, it could be a pretty big month, especially in December. But as we go further along here, as we get into the first day of November here, what really interests me is it's almost a carbon copy of what we're dealing with right now. Because you see a very similar area where we see potential for some stratospheric heating come into play here. You see some cold air lagging in behind it. And then if we go forward, we start to get into that um, positive phase, start to slip back into the negative, and then we're going back into positive again. So this could be a sneak peek even as to what November could be like. Now, ultimately, how this will affect us in regards to our temperatures is this is us looking at our above and below average temperatures here. These are in Celsius, but I have a way of converting them to Fahrenheit here. But in any case, as we continue to go forward here. Watch as we get into that first week of October here. Big time temperatures, I would even say record temperatures out towards the west here. A little bit more manageable, a little bit more moderate heat here over towards the eastern half of the U.S. here. So definitely having the look of a positive PNA phase here. As time goes on, that heat starts to diminish just slightly and also kind of spread to the east a little bit. We could see maybe about, I would say, 5, maybe 10, even up to 15 degrees above average here towards anywhere east of the Mississippi. Greatest temperatures, of course, where we could be 20 to 30 degrees above average would be over towards the northwest and over towards the Rockies and western high plains. We'll go further along here, those above average temperatures start to drop off a little bit. Not much in the way of below average temperatures until we get later into the month. This is where that uh, negative NAO starts to come into play that we mentioned before. So could be some interesting times ahead as we get towards the end of the month here. And I do think that that warm air eventually does move off to the east, but I do not expect it to be a long duration event. It's kind of weird how fall will work and how fall often works here, which is actually only two days away. So get ready, folks. But that being said, last thing we'll go ahead and take a look at is our precipitation outlook here. So again, like I mentioned before, when we looked at the 30 day outlook in comparison to the week to week, we are watching the southeast very closely. Tropics are still very much a factor at this point in time. And you see a better reflection of that as we get into the start of the month here. Still question marks again as to if we end up getting a tropical entity over here and just what happens with it. But I do expect an increase in precipitation at the very least towards Florida, maybe even towards southern Georgia. Outside of that, the weather pattern is kind of leaning towards a little bit more zonal, a little bit more tame. There could be chances of showers and storms here and there. But for the most part, especially over towards the Great Lakes and Northwest, we're a little bit drier than average for the first week. And this is going to be a pretty persistent theme here as we get throughout the rest of the month. So questions still remain with this. I think this is very much variable at this point, but just based off the average here, it does look like we're going to be dealing with below average precipitation across a large part of the lower 48 by this point. I do anticipate more changes to come, especially as we get closer towards November here. As you can see, an indication of above average precip over towards the Northwest, maybe even towards the Great Lakes here. These areas have been struggling on and off with drought here in particular, so 
looking for more moisture here definitely rooting for you guys in any case though but that being said again hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys smash that like button hit that subscribe button and decimate that share button as well i will have another video for you guys tomorrow it'll be a tropical outlook and then on top of that when the first winter outlook is going to be coming at the end of this week so hope you guys are looking forward to that until then take care and have an awesome rest of your friday and i'll see you soon